What's poppin' squadron? It's your boy Thompson, and we back with another mukbang. And today we got the Colonel, and I got the um, famous bowl. It's nothing new, nothing you know, special or anything like that. But it's my first time trying it, so it's new to me. May not be new to y'all. But let's get it. Let's see what it is. Woo! Okay, it's got the chicken. What are those? The not chicken nuggets. They call them something else. Oh yeah, they are. No, there's. Well, whatever. Chicken nuggets, cheese, corn, mashed potatoes, and gravy. And all that. See that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get it. It came with a cookie. I don't know if I'm gonna be eating this. Kind of straight on that. I like Subway cookies. They got the best cookies in my opinion. But yeah, man, what's going on, squad? How you guys doing today? Today is hump day. Happy hump day. Hope you guys are having a good day. And um, yeah. So let's get into it. Oh, shout out to my cuzzo, Stan the man. Happy birthday, boy. I hope you have a blessed day. Mmm, really good. And shout out to uh, Bigger Jigger. He got a birthday too. One of the homeboys from back in the day, man. We just reconnected through IG. That's one thing I like about social media. It helps you connect with people you ain't talked to in a minute or seen in a minute. But I really found out his birthday today too, too. Shout out to you, my guy. I'm telling y'all. I'm surrounded by Libras. Every direction. Libra over here. Libra over there. Libra over there. Libra over here. Libra's everywhere. It's all good. I hope you guys have the best of birthdays during this crazy 2020 year. Popcorn chicken. That's what it's called. They're not called nuggets. I knew they weren't called nuggets, but I was just going with nuggets because I, I couldn't think of the name. But yes, popcorn chicken. Okay, if it has popcorn chicken on it. And it's pretty good. This is good. This is the KFC Famous Bowl. And it's my first time having it. And it's not bad. But yeah, man, shout out to everybody who watched the Pocket Chip Challenge vid. Surely, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys got inspired by uh, <laughs> me and that chip, man. That chip, did, that chip didn't have nothing on me, but hopefully you guys got inspired to try it yourselves for those who haven't tried it. Yeah, how can someone struggle? And um, I hope the video made you laugh or gave you some kind of good feeling. You know, that's what it's all about. Even if it's at the expense of, uh, of me or whoever doing the video with me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to laugh at my cousin so bad when I was seeing over there <laughs> going through it. But I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that, man. I was just like, I was just thankful he was able to ride it out. And also, you know, wanted to do the challenge with me. That was dope. But yes, thank you for everybody who watched. Feel free to share it. Do all that. The support is much appreciated. But, um... Yeah, man, I feel good. There was no after effects after that chip. 
And to be real with y'all, I didn't drink anything until like a half hour after the challenge was over. I could have went longer, but you know, point in time you get thirsty. And I, and I didn't drink anything until about a half hour later, so it wasn't bad at all. And I'm just glad that I didn't get an upset upset stomach after or <laughs> you know when it was time to handle business on that porcelain that was all good as well so I'm grateful that I didn't have no side effects I knew I wasn't allergic to any of the ingredients so I knew I'd be good on there but I know some people who do these hot challenges um, may not know what they're allergic to until they try it and so what happens is when they do it <clears throat> their throat will close up and um, you know those are all the things I was hoping that wouldn't happen to me but I wouldn't have even done the chip if I knew there was some uh, greeting in there that I was allergic to but I'm not I'm not the best or a pepper expert so I wouldn't know what I was allergic to until I tried it, but the one, ones that I'm familiar with that were in the uh, chip, I knew I wasn't allergic to, so it all worked out well. But uh, I want to give a shout out to my H I family. I think about you guys every day. I see most of you like the general more than others, but you guys are always on my mind. And I can't wait for it to link up again like Voldron. And uh, shout out to the extended family. Love y'all. I miss y'all. You know, there's so much stuff I want to talk about. But me and those that know me, I'm not a talker. And what I mean by that is I don't just start talking about, biz, you know, people's business, personal business or whatever like that. But... Even when I have something to do with it, even when I'm mixed in it, you know what I'm saying? I just don't do that, but there's just so much going on, man, and I wish things weren't the way that they were, the way that they are, but, you know, all I have to say is the truth is going to come out one day, and uh, whether if it needs to take, time needs to be, time needs to pass for that to happen, so be it, because at the end of the day, it always will, the truth will always come out. But it, it hurts my heart, man, that certain things are the way they are, and I can't do nothing about it. It's not my place to, you know what I'm saying? But what y'all should already know about me, those who know me, know me like that, know I always, I'm a solid individual. I always stand on the truth, and I always stand by loyalty. My loyalty run deep. And uh, if I'm in the middle of something, you know what I'm saying, or if I got to stand and pick a side, I'm going to pick a side that I'm loyal to. Even, but that doesn't mean that I ain't got love for the other side. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it ain't nothing that I did wrong, and and if it's for somebody else to make right by the situation, you got to make right with the situation. You got to own up to what you do and make right. And then, you know what I'm saying? handle it like a man or a woman but at the same time if you don't stand for nothing you'll fall for anything and for me i stand for loyalty that's what i built on i'm cut from that cloth you know what i mean so it is what it is but at the end of the day it still it still hurts man because it's just unfortunate situations man and it just makes 2020 a more effed up year because every which way i look something bad is happening man outside of my outside of my orbit you know what i'm saying and even in my orbit so it's just like damn i just gotta keep it moving you know what i mean and just keep praying that things will get better because i'm a pray warrior that's what i do i'm a pray warrior so i pray for everybody i love everybody i care about even the world and the state that we're in right now, I just hope it gets better, man. I think we all do, but me personally, 
I can't wait for 2021 to be here. But on the other side of that too though, as much chaos is going on, there's a lot of good things going on too. Things that I'm inspired by, people inspire me. Um, building relationships with these YouTubers ever since I started uploading videos a month ago. And that's another thing I want to talk about. Done. Another thing I want to talk about real quick before I give a rating on that famous boy is that uh, if you check my bio or my about section on my YouTube channel, it's going to tell you that I joined YouTube in 2008, which is true. In 2008 is when you know I logged in and decided... To, I guess create an account with YouTube and back then I was just uh, kind of intrigued and always wondered how people were uploading, uploading music content from um, famous artists that wasn't theirs like for instance you know how if you go on YouTube and you terp type in an artist that you like right or a song you're looking for it'll show up but it's not from that artist it's not on that artist's page it's from just a random person. And I was always wondered how they were able to upload music like that. So that's why I joined in 2008. But I never thought about being a YouTuber. I didn't even know you could be a YouTuber back then. I was just trying to, I was just lock, creating an account. But fast forward to today, if you look in my about section, it says join it to that. But don't let that be misconstrued. I started uploading videos a month ago. So I'm a newbie. I'm just getting my feet wet with this. But I promise you, I'm going to take it as far as I can take it. But anyway, that was my little rant. Uh, getting back to the Famous Bowl from KFC, it was good. Out of a rating, five uh, five stars being the best, I give it a four. <clears throat> and uh, that's not bad. And uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all. I just want to appreciate you guys for tuning in. Keep it locked. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to this. It's much appreciated, and also hit that notification bell. It's your boy, Thompson. Much love. Spread love, not hate, and be kind to one another. To the next one. Peace.